Hi everybody, welcome to Carry On Jeff and John. Um, I'm not expecting many people in tonight uh, with all what's going on in this crazy world. Um, but thanks for coming, Wendy. Um, I'm still running your playlist for you and Suka. Whenever I get time, I will let them run for you. I really would. Um, I didn't go live last night. Um, super reason is that uh, obviously it's a bad time Mother's Day with the wife. Um, she uh, obviously she hasn't got a mother and I have to look after her. Um, I need you to be there for her. And it's heartbreaking to watch your wife, your loved ones. Um, she's only got a father left now and he's not too good anyway. So, you know, it's, uh, it's been a rough time, Chris, uh, Mother's Day. But anyway. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. We all have losses. Um, but I hope everybody uh, had a great Mother's Day. Um, like I say, I'm sorry about Sunday, but anyway, we're here now. Um, I was thinking about changing it from a Sunday to a Monday. Because uh, on Mondays I am getting a really, really, um, really busy on a Sunday. So I might be changing it. Um... Hi Suka, MT Cole, thanks for coming. Christian and some ghosts, you have to make an awesome vegetarian dish for me, John, one day. Not a problem, I'll do you one, I'll promise you I'll do you one. See what vegetarian dish is, it's basically, uh, it's a nice healthy uh, recipe. Uh, you just leave out the meat, I'm, I'm sure you can have your uh, tomatoes, your capsicums and your spices and that. But anyway, I will do you one, I promise you that. Right, who else is in here? I just wait for these um for the uh, comments to come back on and then I'm just gonna say hello and then uh, we can get cooking. Patrick Stubbs, thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely fantastic of you. I really, really do appreciate it. Right. Wendy Hello, Carcass is on squad. I think we've just about said hello to everyone. And thanks for the four likes. I really do appreciate that. Hi, Raphael. Thank you, brother. Thanks for coming. Raphael, fantastic. If Raphael didn't turn up tonight, I'd be very upset because he's always part of our YouTube family. Every single one of you on here, you always support me. It's the only reason I do YouTube. It really is. Right. Let's get cooking. And I'm going to show you how to do an easy beef curry now this is going to be my take i'm going to have some ribbons of uh, cucumber and we'll, instead of having rice we're going to have vizamela that's a very fine very difficult to pronounce that uh, noodle it's, it's a chinese noodle vizamela and that's what we're going to have this is going to be absolutely awesome and today has been curry day uh, in our house my son made one earlier on he made a chicken curry uh, he brought some fillet steaks home, so uh, this is what I'm going to be using. Absolutely awesome. Uh, the hotel where he is, the restaurant tonight, obviously it's been closed down because of all what's been happening. Uh, he brought these fillet steaks home, and I said, you know what, son, that will make an awesome curry. Right, let's get cooking. Um, nice to see you, Raphael. It's always nice to see every single one of you, it really is. Um, anyway... Two fillet steaks cut up into uh, bite-sized people. Bite-sized people. Bite-sized people. Uh, a thumb's nail size of uh, grated ginger. Grated uh, garlic. Two bulbs. Trying to grate that. And then what you want here, uh, these are all tablespoons except for a teaspoon of coriander. Right, ground coriander, one teaspoon, uh, tiramic, garlic masala, hot curry powder. Well, I want a tablespoon of that because we're going to put our um, own uh, chilies in, which I've got here, some nice red chilies. Just try it and see if it's hot enough for you, so tally up to yourself, and then we want some uh, cumin. So that's ground coriander, cumin. Fair Creek leaves, curry powder, uh, turmeric, and gramma masala. 
And then what you want then is a large size onion, which I've put up into nice, uh, I've sliced it. You can finally chop it if you want, but I always find it cooks better uh, sliced. Um, 600 mils of beef stock. I use uh, Oxos. Uh, people just add a bit of water to their curries and that. But I do it my way. I really do. So you want the uh, 600 mils of the stock. One stock cube, uh, some coriander, and also what we're going to be putting in this is some cauliflower and some uh, new potatoes. Now I've already uh, blanched them. You want them so they're not soft. You just want to be able to knit your fork in there, then you know because the rest of the curry when we let it simmer and that that's going to help it cook. Right, I'm just going to say hello to one or two other people. Texas Life, Julie, absolutely fantastic to see you, sweetheart. Absolutely brilliant. I really have been missing you. I know you've had an hard time, sweetheart, but I'll tell you what, I am so happy you have made my day. Texas Life, Ju uh, Julie, if you haven't got her, show her some love. She is absolutely fantastic lady, and you know what I mean? She's had a bit of a rough time, but massive hugs to you, Julie, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, sweetheart. I really do. I'm almost uh, <clears throat> getting a little bit emo emotional at the moment, but there you go, my friend. I hope all stay well out there. Cooking with CJ. Absolutely fantastic. Now, that is a surprise. It really is uh, a surprise to see you. It really is. Check out Cooking with CJ. If that man don't know about cooking meats and that, Honestly, he's absolutely fantastic. He does a live stream. I wish I could get more to uh, you, CJ, but the time difference and all that. I, I look out for you. I'll have a look at some of your videos and that. It is very, very difficult to get around everyone. I know that. But it's absolutely awesome of you to see you. It really is. I've just noticed um, Hilly Billy Review. John, you're an absolute star, mate. You really are. Uh, the guy's got three channels, channel, channels, 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 and he always uses every single one of them to show me some love. Now that's giving me some time. It really is awesome of you. Uh, so thanks for coming, John. You're absolutely fantastic, my friend. Uh, Russ, I bargain by. Thanks for coming, my friend. Russ, times are hard at the moment, mate, but I'm thinking of it. I hope Mel's okay. I really do. Um, they're going to be doing a lockdown here anyway in the next few days, so which they should do, you know what I mean? There's a lot of selfish people out there that's still mingling in big crowds and that, which is absolutely ridiculous. Hi, Joy Stewart, thanks for coming, darling. Really is fantastic of you. Hilly Billy Slept with you. Hi, everyone, glad to be here. I'm absolutely over the moon with the people. Lockdown done, yes, it's done, mate. Anyway. I'm just going to move these out of the way, and then we're going to start get. We're going to start cooking. I'm going to have a drink of this tarragon sauce, right? I think. Right. Going to move this trusted board out of the way. <clears throat> what you want for this, the easiest way to do this curry is to get organised. Get your pans ready. Right, get yourself a wok. Fire. The first thing we do is get a smidgen, you like that word, and a smidgen of olive oil. We're going to get this pan on. What we're going to do, we're going to put the beef in first 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to seal all that goodness in there. That's what I'm going to do. Pandora hunting with Debbie Scoop. Now, I'm just going to say Pandora, darling, because it's a long, long way. But it's absolutely fantastic of you. If you haven't got uh, Pandora, honestly, she is an awesome lady. She really is. And that Pandora she buys, you know, she gets them at bargain prices. I pay a fortune for my missus in the UK. But some of the bargains she get, check her out. She's a sweet lady. She really is so supportive. Unbelievable. Can't wait for you to get a thousand up so you can go live and we'll see you. Honestly, Pandora, fantastic. Just Mike, another great guy. Thanks for coming, Mike. I really do appreciate it. I read what you said earlier on and you are so right, mate. I've sent you a message back, like I say. I'm not here for, I'm, trust me, mate, I know, I know how it all works. Don't really worry about that. Right, nice and hot. Get your beef in. And keep it not keep it keep it on high heat. Bit of sea salt. You've got to have some salt in this into the meat because it's the meat. Sorry, it's the salt that tenderizes your your meat, and that's why it's called seasoning. Always put salt with your meat when you're frying it, whatever. And all we want to do is just seal that. And this is fillet steak, this is. We're pot. You know what I mean? And all we want to do is just seal that in the, so there's no pink showing whatsoever. I hope you're all staying safe, I really do. I really want you to be okay, everyone here. If we all stick together, we're all going to be fine. We really are. It's just them selfish people. I've seen them on the telly in, in uh, London, mixed, you know, with that markets and all that. Come on now, you know what I mean? And I don't care what anybody says, Boris Johnson is the best. He's doing a hell of a lot for this country, bless him. The man's absolutely knackered and he, he doesn't want to do all these things, but he's having to do it because people are not listening. They really ain't. Twelve people in seven lights can't be bad. But at the end of the day, it, it is what it is, you know what I mean? I keep getting a dislike on here, you know, the person that keeps doing it and all that. But you know what? For what's going on around the world, who cares? It really don't, it really don't bother me anymore, it really don't. Look at John tossing that meat, such a pro. Uh, that is, it's easy, darling. I've been doing it that long, you know, it, it, it is so easy, honestly. But you've just got to go like that. Flick. Flick. That's all you got to do, darling. Like that. And it saves a lot of time once you, can, once you get that, because you haven't got to worry about, you know, keep turning it over and all that, you know what I mean? I'm just there. Uh, have you got Pandora? Have I missed anybody? Freddie Farrington, thanks for coming, mate. I hope you're okay. I really do, Fred. You keep safe. Every one of you keep safe. Do as we're told and we'll always be alright. Right, that's all sealed in now. No, no red chain whatsoever. So we'll put that in there like that. I want another smidgen of oil. Use good quality oil, you know what I mean? I'm using olive oil. You can use sesame oil, it's entirely up to yourself. Right, let's get the onions in. One large onion sliced, like that. This is my take on a beef curry. You're going to love this. You really are going to love this. The flavours in this is absolutely awesome. It really is. Fantastic. You know that word? Fantastic. Now we want to cook these 
for a good five minutes, five, at least five minutes, just to soften them before we start putting um, our other ingredients in. The reason why you put onions in first is because they take longer to, uh, to cook. Well, look, we've got a jumping jack, a jumping uh, onion. You don't get them very often. They grow, they, they grow in the, in the equator, jumping uh, onion. And every now and then, what they do, they jump out your pan. I'm only joking. Hi, Tosh. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Tosh Time, another great lady. Check Tosh out. Big channel. Got a heart of gold. Uh, She's got that many subscribers, she finds it difficult, like we all do, to get to show the love to everybody, but she tries. And Tosh is absolutely fantastic of you to see you. It really is. Everybody grab Tosh. Great lady. She'll always try and get to you. She really will. It's very difficult, I know it is. Essen, Asan, thanks for coming, my friend. This guy's always come here, he really is, he's a great guy, he really is, come and check him out, Essen. Beautiful romantic song, you know what I mean, ooh, honestly, fantastic. Essen, thanks for coming, my friend, our YouTube family. Right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the uh, capsicum, bell peppers you call them in the UK. So we're going to put the red peppers in there like that. I'm not going to put them uh, chilies in yet. Fantastic. Absolutely. Corrine, this is for you, darling. Check out Corrine, the Winston family. Absolutely fantastic, darling. This is for the Winston family. Beef curry. The best beef, the best of everything, sweetheart, for you. Philly steak. Can't beat it. I'm going to really love this one. Get it all in there. Get it all mixed up. Right, ginger. Into ginger, grated. I'm going through these ingredients as I'm going along in case you want to follow me. Two cloves of garlic mint. I never ever use paste or anything. I always use fresh ingredients all the time. You don't know how long it's been there for, you really don't. Look at that, look at the colours in there. Absolutely. So healthy, so fresh, there's going to be no grease for this curry. Trust me, there's nothing worse. Nothing worse than greasy curry. Right. Chopped tomatoes. Now I'm using uh, plum tomatoes rather than tin tomatoes. I like fresh flavours. And we're going to chuck them two chilies in there as well. While we're doing that, let's get a pan of water on the go. There we go. That's going to be for our noodles. We're not having rice for this, Colleen. We're going to have some addition, darling. I'm late, I will be re-watching. You're not really late, Colleen. There's plenty, uh, we're, we've only just started. You know how I have it done. Right. All you do is put all your ingredients on. Coriander, farik leaves, 
curry powder, garlic masala, tiramisu and cumin. That's all you want to do. All in there like that. Combined all that into all them awesome, and I mean awesome, onions and red peppers, bell peppers. Now what we want to do, we want to put the meat in with all them awesome pan juices. Mix all that in there. Right, put 400 grams, sorry, 400 mils of beef stock, made with one beef stock. Oh. Get that on there like so. You put as many chilies in it as you want. It's entirely up to yourself. But beef stock, don't use water with this curry. Beef stock, that's what it is. Right, now what we want to do is put your cauliflower and your potatoes. New potatoes I'm using, use whatever potato you want. But if you use red potatoes and new potatoes, it will not break up and go to mush. That's what you want to do. Uh, and your cauliflower, like I say, just put a little bit of a fork in there. You don't want to go roll away in there, because what will happen is, that'll turn to mush, so it's blanch it. Boiling water, uh, put your potato cauliflower in, about five or six minutes, ready to go. Potatoes and cauliflower in there, and what we want to do then is just submerge right that way. Don't you submerge? And get it, get it all coated. Get it all coated, all underneath there. And then what we'll do then that will carry on cooking the potatoes uh, and the cauliflower, and it will stop it all from breaking up. So whatever I told you, don't overcook the cauliflower and the potatoes because otherwise it will just break. Just break up and go like mush. Right. I'm going to put this now on the back burner on a medium simmer heat. Put that on there. Turn the bonfire up in the middle. And we're just going to let that simmer now, like that. And then I'm going. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to have a nice drink of tea. It's hard work. This is cooking for you a lot. Who else have we got in here we haven't seen? Hi, Diane. Thanks for coming, darling. Absolutely fantastic. What a great lady. She is absolutely awesome. Um, my home is steading. You finally made it, sweetheart. I know you come quite often. You are our YouTube family. Great lady. She does live. Go and check her out. She's absolutely awesome. What a great crowd in tonight. 17 people, 15 likes. Voila! I am so happy that I will waste my time tonight. And I do apologise about Sunday. The end of the day. If you'd have been here yesterday, honestly. My heart, Phew. I was in bits for my wife. What, when you watch somebody that's lost a mother and, and 
you know, and, and she's sobbing her heart out and she's worried about her dad, you know, because he's getting old and all that, you know. She's only got me and the kids, you know what I mean? And it's, it's so difficult, honestly. Oh, it's all pain. And we didn't get to bed till about five o'clock in the morning because she just couldn't stop crying. I hate. I like Mother's Day because my mum's still alive and that. I don't know how it feels when you lose someone like that, but it's going to get to me because uh, I'm an emotional person anyway. Always have been. But um, I'm glad it's over with now. I mean, she's quieting down there and we're moving here, Dad, as well. So The trips, thanks for coming. Absolutely fantastic of you, it really is. Um, and we are worried about, um, because we've just bought a house and and their dad is going to live in there, so he's only round the corner from us, keep an eye on him and that, you know what I mean? And we're worried that they, they're going to allow us to use a furniture van to move his stuff and that, I hope so. Even if I have to carry it on my back, I shall get him out there. I really will, but it's worrying times, but at the end of the day, we've all got each other. That's the main thing, we've got each other. Right, I'm just waiting for this, uh, this half a pan of water just to boil a bit and I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there. I always think you need a bit of salt uh, in noodles, I really do. I'm going to say hello to you. I just want to thank everybody that's come. The trips, thanks for coming. I really do appreciate it. I lost mine, I feel their pain and prayers to her. Caroline, it's bad. It's so bad. It really is bad. That is the main thing, John. You're right there, Christina. Absolutely. Oh, tell you. Oh, I can't be doing it. You know. Ah, no. I'm lost for words. I really am lost for words. Anyway, let's not talk about people passing away and all that lot. You know what I mean? You know, it's, life is what it is. You know, we're all going to get old and all that. That's why I like, try not to let things bother me. Just get on with it, you know what I mean? Just give it a little stir now and then. And this will reduce down after a bit. And if we feel as though that's going to dry, if it's drying up a little bit, the sauce and all that, um, you just put a little bit more of that stock in. That's why I haven't put it all in at once, because all this is going to do is just reduce down. Okay. Make sure them potatoes are in, in, in all the juices and that, and that meat. Oh. Use whatever meat you want to use, but like I said, Karen brought some fillet steaks because they closed, closed the restaurant down. Uh, and also some fillet steaks over, and his boss said, take them home. I thought, wow, wallow, that'll do for us, you know what I mean? So that's why we're having fillet steaks. Right, time, that's ready. Right, we're going to pull our noodles on. Virgin, Virgin, I'm going to, I'm, I can't pronounce it. I can't pronounce it. What does that say? Virgin Chelly. Virgin Chelly, that's what it's here. I said to the wife, how do you pronounce that? And I still got it wrong. So I'm just going to pull off a packet of lemon. I not one half a packet. No, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a ring of that in. That'll take about eight to ten minutes. Well it says eight to ten minutes on the packet, but I'm gonna wait eight to ten minutes. I think that's gonna take about six or seven minutes. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the time. Eighty one minutes gone past already. Right. Get the old chopping board. Cucumber. And we'll go. Get yourself a vegetable peeler. And just take the outer, the uh, green off.
like so. Remember what I always said to you. Always get your bin next to you, bring your ball to the end and just scrape on. My lad leaves it about a, uh, an inch away from him and then he's wondering why it's all going on the worktop and going you know, on the floor. Honestly, unbelievable. Right. Get yourself a dish. And what we want to do is we want some ribbons of cucumber. Don't worry about if you uh, about any cucumber that you don't use. Just we use this. There we go. Slippery a bit there. Right, that's that. My lad will eat the eats cucumber like he's, you know, like he's at the seaside. Right. What we need to do now is you want some red wine vinegar. About a tablespoon. And then what you want then is some uh, white wine vinegar. You've got the white and the red. And you just want a tablespoon of that. And then you want a teaspoon of white sugar in there like that. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely awesome. If you've never tried this, you've got to try this. Uh, I sometimes do this if we do it if we, if we have a salad I'll do this and we'll sit sit it uh, we're watching the TV or whatever and the wife there will be eating this and the kids honestly so healthy now we're going to have this cucumber um, with the curry because what happens is if it's too hot for you you have a bit of cucumber just to cool your palate down most people drink go and drink milk not makes it worse. If you want to call it down, call it down with a bit of cucumber. Honestly, that'll do the trick. Or nice, uh, or yogurt. That's what call it. This one. Okay? So I'll just put that at the side. I hope everybody has had an awesome day. I hope everything's fine, that your families are fine. I really do. Really do appreciate that. Right, let me just um have a look at this there. Uh, oh just gonna loosen that. Okay, how long was that? How long was that bit? I don't want to overcook it. It don't take, don't take long anyway. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Right, that's ready. It's going to drain this.
We're just going to check the curry. Right, I'm just going to leave that a little bit longer. Just want them potatoes. Uh, just to soften slightly, but I don't want them too mushy. Right, let's come, let's come and have a chat while that's bubbling away, shall we? Hey. I just want to thank everybody that's come to Carry On Jeff and John once again. I've got 17 lines, which is absolutely fantastic of you. Suka, great lass. Winston, I hope, I hope you're going to try this recipe. This is an awesome beef curry. I want you all to try it, honestly. This is the way to do a nice beef curry. I just want to tell you something else and all. This will not be greasy. Why, oh why do they always make too much grease? You know when you get a takeaway? And you open the lid and you get all that fat grease that comes to the top. Sorry, it's got to go in the bin. And I was at an Indian restaurant the other night. Um, and I, he actually said to me, he says, Curry all right? Because I know him really well. I said, I'll tell you what, where you're going wrong, they're too greasy, my friend. And the boss said, listen to John, he knows, he knows. He must have thought I was some idiot off the street. I said, you tone it down. I said, you don't need all that grease and that in there. You don't need to cook it. The flavours will come out of your ingredients. Uh, I said, otherwise you'll end up losing customers. You really will. So, if you listen to it, it's up to himself. Right, have I missed anybody? It is horrible when it's like that, Wendy. Bloody horrible. It's terrible. I can't be doing with it. I really can't. Um, Wendy, do you live in, you live in Bullwell, don't you? Um, I know, uh, I know Bullwell quite well, uh, when you mentioned it the other day. So, uh, yeah, you're not far away from us, what you thought. You've definitely got a typical not in the max, you really are, you're so sweet. Diane, another sweet lady, she really is. Country girl, first crab, hello sweetheart, I hope everyone's doing good. I am, well that's fantastic. And do you know what, country girl? We've got tatters in the curry, potatoes and cauliflower in a curry is, is, it's a legend in our house. We've got to have potatoes and cauliflower in our curries. Otherwise you don't enjoy it. You want to go to a restaurant, we say, can you put potatoes and cauliflower in? Of course we can, Mr. Davis. It's because they know us so well. Hugs to you as well, Wendy. Diane. Another sweet talk, really is. Jay, thanks for coming, sweetheart. It really is awesome of you, it really is. Do you know what? We're building up such a nice YouTube family on here. We really are. I've gone to some lives, there could be like 55, 60, 70 people in there, and I think to myself, what? They're nowhere near as good as you lot. They're, they're really ain't. It's, it's, and I always find the bigger the bigger the live, the, the bigger the channel than that. Pay for in there basically to build in their channel up. You know what I mean? You see them come in, then they go, then they come, then they go. You know what I mean? But I always find with us uh, on here, we don't really get many drifters that come in here. Not many tramps come in here. Trust me. The only tramps that come in here is my YouTube family. Honestly, you're all absolutely awesome. You're right, you're right, Raphael. There's some great people in there and we have a good chat. You know, it's fun also. Okay, Pandora. You want it? Pandora, that, your dog is, it, 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 it's, it, it's so intelligent, it's unbelievable. It sits in the car, everybody. Pandora's uh, dog. And I'm sure he's giving them directions. I don't think they've got a, a sat nav in their car. I think they don't direct them. Honestly, so funny. Uh, you have to do a video on the dog, uh, Pandora. And I am on Facebook. 
So if you want to check us out, it's entirely up to yourself. I'm always here to have a chat. You're right, Christine, always nice to meet new people. It is, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah, he's cute, Pandora's dog. He's there, Wendy. Every rules is old. Well, dogs do. I used to have a white staffy bitch. Oh, she was absolute. She was a, she was a darling. She really was a darling. She would basically do anything. Honestly, I spent so much time with her. Um, she basically did any, any. She'd do anything. Well, she won't cook a meal out like that. You know what I mean? Or make me a cup of tea out like that. But she was so loving. She really was. Um, when the kids, when the kids was uh, at school, the wife used to say, "Come on, then, get your shoes on." And straight away, she goes straight to the kitchen into her cage. You should have a little cage for a bit of, um, you know. It's not cruel putting them in a cage and that. But she used to really enjoy getting a bit of peace from the kids and that. She's absolutely fantastic. And my missus always used to say to me, have you been feeding her again? I said, no. I used to say to Kia, her name was, Kia, right, come here, why don't you wipe your mouth for you? Because I was always treating her bits of lamb here and, and, and I was always feeding her. Oh, I used to get told, she used to get me in, oh, she used to always get me in trouble, my dog did. She was a bloody terror rag, she was. But when she went, oh, you're so right about them being family fans over, they really are, they are, they really are. You don't realise how much you miss them when they're gone, you really don't. Um, we've got a little shrine in our house in the front there, near the front fireplace. You know, a little box with her ashes and pictures of it and that. And my oldest lad, he's, he's got a lead, got a, not a lead, a collar at the side of his bed, bless him. And when they had to put her down, I couldn't take her. I, I, I took her in the car and all that, but my oldest lad had to go and I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But he did, fair play to him. I just can't do that. I hate funerals, I hate going to funerals, because even if I don't know them hardly, getting involved with them you know I, I, i'm feeling for them and i always end up watching the people that have lost the person that's been buried or cremated or whatever and seeing their faces you know and crying and uh, it's just no i can't no nah, no nah, it's not for me vanessa kitty thanks for coming absolutely fantastic of you it really is Raphael, hey all sweet out on his stream did that cost me three clicks and three seconds goes ahead. Yeah, if you want to share me out, it's entirely up to yourself. Patrick Stubbs, hello sweetheart. Your husband's so funny, Pat, he really is. Unbelievable. If you're coming in, please give a thumbs up. Thanks, Colleen. Absolutely fantastic, darling. The support you all give me is unbelievable. Without you lot, it won't be worth doing, you know what I mean? But, at the end of the day, I mean, as long as you enjoy doing it, you know, that's the main thing, as long as you enjoy doing it, who cares, you know? It's like being on Facebook anyway, but this way we can actually teach people different things, you know? I can teach you how to cook, um, there's crafting and that, there's Colleen that's got some headphones on and she's bopping to the music and all that. Unbelievable. Give my love to Barry as well, where are you, uh, Colleen? Absolutely fantastic. Great guy. Um, right. Bend down now. I can hardly move now. I can hardly move. Oh, smells gorgeous and stuff. Well, oh, that's there, really. Right, my friends, you know what I'm going to tell you, don't you? What's that saying? Hey, let's have a little drink of tea. Can't beat a good cup of tea. Have I missed anybody? Hi, Kimmy's Kitchen. Thanks for coming in, darling. Absolutely fantastic. I think, you know, we all know who Kimmy Kitchen is. Great lady, she's absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable! Colorado Martina. Now, you, this, well, I, I'm flabbergasted. There's something going wrong here. I can't believe 
that you've actually made one of our live streams. And I'm going to tell you something now, uh, Martina. These people in here are the, are the most loyalist people, my YouTube family. Uh, they support, they love, they're genuine. You leave them a comment, they will always get back to you. I vouch for every single one of you on here. You're all absolutely fantastic. Check out Colleen. Everybody say hi to her. To Colorado Martini. She's a great lady. Fantastic channel. Does a lot of, um, you know, walks on the like, countryside and history and museums. She does anything like that. Absolutely fantastic. So interesting. Absolutely brilliant. All grab her. The trips, grab her. Call her that's, it. that's it. Everybody grab Colleen Martina. And I'm not kidding you. You will have some awesome friends. And when you come into this live stream, I will vouch for the ones that are good. If they come in and they start collecting the subs and clearing off, I'll tell you, I will tell you, don't bother. But these in here are absolutely awesome and I really do mean that. I really do. Gimme's Kitchen, uh, another another sweetheart does uh, grocery hauls and that kind of stuff. Gets the bargains. It's like Wendy and Diane. They're another two. They like the bargains and we all like the bargains. Right. I better get to... Let's, let's get plating up, shall we? Right, what we're going to do now is put some of the uh, the noodles, the bisamelli noodles. It's Michelle noodles. I can't pronounce it, sorry guys. Oh, that curry. The smell in here is absolutely awesome. Like I said, we're not going to have any rice. What we're going to do now is put your shavings of cucumber in. Like so. Oh, absolutely awesome. So healthy, so refreshing. And like I say, if the curry's a little bit too hot for you, have some of the cucumber. It's a cool it down. Right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. Nice bit of cauliflower. There we go. So a nice bit of potato in there as well. I'll tell you what, you guys are really being spoiled tonight. Um, you know I like my presentation, so there's a little bit of... Uh, Ingredient gone there, and I can't have that. I can't have that. Well, we'll just put another little piece of meat on there. It's up to you what meat you have, it's entirely up to yourself. A um, bit more of the bell pepper. Oh, honestly. Right. Right, I'm just going to take my thumbnail, because otherwise I'll be in trouble, won't I? Right, where's the camera on this thing again? And there we have beef curry with some nice visa michella. I can't pronounce it. You're taking the mickey now, aren't you? Um, with some nice strips of cucumber with the red wine vinegar, the white wine vinegar, and some white sugar. Now, if that's too hot for you, have a little bit of that. That'll cool it down. If it's not hot enough for you, get some more chilies in for you. Now, is that okay for you? Hey, okay. And this one, especially for Colleen. Darling, 
I'm going to send that on the plane to you, but obviously there's no planes going out of the UK. So I don't know how I'm going to get there. So what I'll have to do, I'm going to have to eat this myself, sweetheart. Or it's going to be for the wife. You know what I mean? I know you always tell me, I always say, it's going to be for the wife, but then I end up eating it. So there we go. Is that all right for you? Hey? And look, there's not one bit of grease on there. Not one. And I'll guarantee you that. Right, um, where's my knife? I'm just going to show you how tender that is. Look at that. I'm not even touching my, my, my uh, friends. Look. Oh, absolutely awesome. Oh. We've got a bit of that left over. I'll tell you what I forgot to do. I forgot to put my coriander on. Oh no. My coriander fancy fancy. Fancy missing that. It's art. That's what it is. I've got to take a little one now. There you go guys, put cauliflower in and potatoes, you'll absolutely love it, you really will. And you don't have to have rice, why have rice? Everybody has rice, but we're having the uh, noodles. Mm. Anyway, I just want to say thank you. Um, hang on, I can't go now. Keep my awesome friends in here. Bit of a pamper. Is he here? Bit of a pamper. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks for coming, my friend. He's absolutely brilliant. I think we've all got bit of a pamper. Go and check him out. He's, he's editing. Um, so loyal, uh, great guy, funny guy, um, but his editing is out of this world. I wish I, I wish I had someone who could do my editing for me. Might perhaps do a little bit better, you know what I mean? But he is fantastic, he really is. Bit of a panther, thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely fantastic. And he runs my video, he runs the full course for me to try and get me some, some minutes. Um, if anybody wants to uh, help us out there, run, me, run my playlist. Because um, I'm never going to get, I'm never going to, uh, I'm never going to get me hours, but I'm going to have a go, give it another 12 months, uh, and, and then we'll see what happens. Um, but I do appreciate what everybody does for me, I really do. And I appreciate you all coming to me and showing the love. Yes, I'm always happy to help people with their watch time that's what you call an awesome guy honestly fantastic guy bit of real panther you're a legend my friend and colorado martina uh, thanks for coming darling i hope you've met some nice friends tonight i really do um show them some love and they'll always be there for you there's some great people in here tonight really is please be thank you on john's playlist thank you yes but get but going, but going crazy, yeah. You or John will run them for you, thank you. I did, Karen Jefferson, thank you, Colina Martini. What should I call you, Mart Martini? 
Martini, that, that's it. The lack of traffic around here is almost epic. Well, there's nothing around us, you know. They'll put the, what they'll do, they'll put the fuel down, you'll fill up, but they won't allow you to use it to go anywhere, so what's the point in that? We'll run your list again tonight, John. Thank you, Pandora, that's sweet of you. Ian Matthews, thanks for coming, my friend. Always late, Ian is. I, I, I got to know, uh, uh, honestly, like I've always said, we can always rely on Ian to come late. Uh, you never, like you say, you never want him to be in uh, to order a taxi. If he owned a taxi for him, he'd be skimped within what two days. But he's an awesome guy, he really is. My homesteading. Show the love to home homesteading as well. Homesteading, homesteading. So I can pronounce it wrong, but it flashes on, it goes off, or whatever. And that. Let's all build and let's all grow together. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? But like you say, YouTube's another form of like Facebook, isn't it, really? Just that we can all have a good chat together. Yeah, just got the no, no, just got the, the notice for this like Way to keep on top of your game, YouTube. See what I mean? It's it's wrong, isn't it? I mean, we've been on here near what nearly an hour, um, and then about ten minutes ago, a uh, bit of a pamphlet. Is it Chris? Your name, bit of a pamphlet. I'd rather call you by your first name. Um, and he's only just got the notification. Now, how can that be right? It's like watching a film, and then at the end, the the announcer say. Um, there's, there's a fantastic uh, western on. Oh, hang on a minute. End. What is the point in that? You know, what chance have we got? Eh? Really, really does get on your nerves. It really does. John and everyone stay well. Pat, are you leaving this sweetheart? You're going, are you? Okay. Um, well, thanks for coming, Pat. Thanks for coming, Pat. Absolutely fantastic of you. And you stay uh, safe, sweetheart. Um, no fight involved in that dish, so I assume we will not grow off it laugh out loud. You're, that, you're out there, Raphael. You're not going to get, there's no grease on here, my friend. Remember what I always say, <clears throat> use two different pans, seal all that goodness in. That's the way to do it, honestly. Uh, Colleen. What I've got in here, sweetheart, is fillet steak. Fillet steak is one of the finest you can get. You can use any steak whatsoever. It's just, my lad brought to home and I thought, right, this coincides beautiful. Because I said, you know what, Kieran? That fillet steak will make a nice beef uh, curry for my sweet friend, Colleen. This was for you, darling. Um, me, I would use ribeye, because you've got a lot of flavours in that, absolutely fantastic. But you can use whatever steak you want. So that's entirely up to you, darling. It really is. What was that? Thank you, Mr. Pamphlet. There you go, remember what was... Do you remember what was in your... Last live stream, I ran the video yesterday and it looked really good. Um, what did we do last week, guys? What the mushrooms? It wasn't wild mushrooms in Penne. Um, what did we bloody film? What was the last video, guys? Tell me what the last video was. How to do a luxury pie. How oh, can you forget that? I'm going to see now. How to do a luxury pie. And I tell you what, that didn't last five minutes. It really didn't. Yes, the potato pie. The fish pie, Pandora. Not potato pie, darling. It was a fish pie. A luxury fish pie. Best ingredients. And that mash was to die for. Are you still here, Pat? 
Oh, thanks for stopping in, darling. Love, love it. Love, love, love the lot of you. I really do. Ah, that's right. Oh, honestly. Colin, beautiful darling. Get them, get potatoes in. You've got to get them potatoes in, country girl. Got to have them in for you, darling. Martina, thanks for coming and meeting my family. Um, I hope to God that we can build an awesome family with each and every one of them. Let's be awesome. Absolutely. Ian Days, thanks for coming. Absolutely fantastic. Ian Matthews, about time you uh, sorted that shed out. You really should. My missing up the wall. Mind you, my kitchen's like that. I only... It's only in a mess for a while, because I like a clean kitchen. But the wife said, don't worry about it, sweetheart. You looked after me last night. And I don't mean it, what you're thinking. But um, she says, I'll, 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 I'll do that for you. I'll, I'll sort it out for you. All right, darling. So I'll put it everywhere. It's everywhere. Mm. This is gorgeous. I'm not just telling you. I think we could have done with a bit of... It's not quite hot enough for me, so I might put some more chillies in. Because I am... I am... A chilli freak. I am. Spices! Oh, I can't wait for it. I better not eat anymore, because I'll end up eating the lot. It's just ridiculous. Honestly, you know what I mean? I'm trying to keep this down. I'm doing quite well. Right. It's been over an hour now. Um, I'd love to stop, but the wife's in the other room. And she'll start saying, come on, where are you? You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm making chilli tonight, Barry. Barry's coming and making it, and I like it spicy. Yeah, oh, I love, I love it. Love spicy beef, uh, Caroline. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. I sweat on the pole a minute. Ian, honestly, mate, you, 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 you crack me up sometimes. You are so funny. And the accent, well, it's second to none. But spicy beef, oh, can't beat it. Loads of chilli, it's spicy though. You want it that spicy that you can, you can light a, a, a fag off your butt. Honestly, it's that hot. Mmm. Mm. And that meat is so tender, it's unreal. It really is. It should be for its day. He's finally cooking. It's about time he did some of Caroline, all the, all the way you doing that, sweetheart. He only, he only did a few rounds. Get him cooking. Tell him to come and watch us. I might be able to teach him some, eh? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, Coley? Get him to cook some up, eh? Anyway, just want to say, um, I appreciate every single one of you for uh, coming on here, showing the love. Now, I'm going to do uh, a recipe I like a donate one. Um, after I get to about 19, I don't know what we're going to do with it. We're going to start all over again because we get the same numbers in all the time because we are one YouTube family. Um, so I'm going to pick a recipe and I'm going to uh, donate it. I'm going to be cooking for one here next week. It was Colin this time. I'm just trying to think, who, 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 who have I not cooked for? Just waiting for the comments to come back on, and they don't. So, um, 
Who are we cooking for next week? Do you don't come on? How do you get these? How do you get them back on? Oh, oh they'll come back on now. Um, I'm going to go eye roller and make spaghetti or something. Thanks, my friend. Just want to thank you, Bit of a Panther. You're an absolute legend, my friend. Love you to bits, and I really do appreciate you coming. You've made my day. You really have. Thanks for coming, mate. True man. True man. Right. Next week, we're going to be cooking for Christina and Son Ghost uh, Squad. So next week, Christina... We're going to be cooking for you, darling, and I'll get you a nice uh, recipe, and I hope you enjoy it. I really do. I'm very flattered. I mean it from the, from my heart. Uh, is it Chris, bit of a pamper? Is it, what's, your, what's your name, mate? What's your, what's your first name, mate? Is it Chris? But you are, you're a legend, you're a legend, mate, and I, I love you to bits, mate, and I really do appreciate what you do for me. I really do. My minutes are going up. I was getting 9,000 a month, 9,000 minutes a month. Um, the other month it went up to 20,000. So if I could get 20,000 minutes each month, uh, times that by 12, I shall let me just about get me uh, 4,000 hours. But it's a long road. Uh, people could get fed a bit, so why should I run it for them or whatever and that. But, you know, life is what it is. Um, I'm a genuine man. I'm a true man. Um, I try to keep everybody happy, um, I can't, but I have a bloody damn good go, I really do. Yeah, I've snagged another couple. Thank you, thank you, with the pump. I really do appreciate it. It's, it's bad here in New York, pray for us. I just want you to be safe, Colin, I really do, darling. I want you all to be safe. I really do. That's right, it's right in. It's all you can do is try. Anyway, I just want to say, there you go, it always freezes. Might be YouTube. Chris, we be playing for you as well, sweetheart. We really will. We're playing for every single one here. Yeah. Absolutely, uh, it, it's really bad what's going on, but um, we all pull through together, look after each other, we're all going to be okay, we really are. Um, just like you say, people's lives, uh, being together, being true to one another is the main thing, more to life than YouTube. We never know what's going to happen the next day or the day after that, so be happy. Um, and just do what you think is right. That's all you can do. See you later, John. Bye all in the chat. Have a great week at home. If you can, already running your video as, as we speak. Thanks, Mike. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Mrs. Greensome, thanks for coming, sweetheart. I'm just about, I'm just about to finish darling. But that's what we got tonight, darling. A, a nice beef curry. With uh, some pickle cucumber there, darling. Honestly. Um, everybody check out Mrs. We all know Mrs. Greenson. Go and check her out. She's, a, she's such a sweet lady. Always makes everybody happy. She really does. Makes you welcome. What I love about Mrs. Greenson, she says it how it is. You know what I mean? Mrs. Greenson, massive hugs. Massive hugs to every single one of you. Asuka. You're a great, you're a great lady. Thanks for being a, an awesome mod. You really are absolutely fantastic. Anyway, from Carry On Jeff and John, I just want to say you're all absolute legends. Love you to loads. And the main thing, be safe. Always love you loads. Voila.